Hey guys, welcome to RK Keynotes. In the previous video, we have seen how to create a login page with Access Database and connect with the mini project that is Ticket Booking System. In this video, I'll show you the same uh, connection without using Access Database, which means that I'm going to create a login page without database connection. This is very simple. And you can see here, this is my project folder. And I have got the main source file over here, booking.com. And this is the one we have done in the previous video that is login with database so this is the file which I have created for you so to bring this what you want to do is that you have to right click new and you have to say J frame form you have to select this so, so once if you do this I have already done you have this designing page so where you can uh, I mean this is the form where you can design so you have to drag and drop all these controls the required controls over here and in the previous video I forgot to address uh, the reset uh, you know button code I'll let you know in this video so uh, I have renamed all these things you know how to rename so you have to do it here fine so I'll whenever I click on this login button it should you know check the username and then password so here we are not going to use any database connection the username and, and password is given in the coding part itself so I have, I have double click the button login button and I'll show you right here so uh, I have got a string, uh, uh, username and then password, two variables and I have assigned a value for it, right? I mean a string value over here and I, I, I'm just using a simple if else to just check it like username equals to admin and password equals one two three. if both are matching then it should display uh, the same code now like we, we have used this one in the previous video j uh, option pen uh, uh, dot show message dialog that is null and login success once the login is successful then it should display uh, the main source code that is booking uh, form right so you just want to create an object for that and say uh, set it visible that is true and you need to hide the login uh, form basically if, if not you are going to say that login failed fine so uh, and what is this reset button whenever I click on this reset whatever the text is there over here I mean in, in, in this text uh, box and then this password field it should get you know erased re removed basically and for that you need to mention this one so this is the name of that particular control that is J text field one uh, you can check it over here click on this you see this J text field one and this is J password field one fine so just mention those things and set text that is null so which means that uh, we are just going to clear it i mean it's it's null whenever you click on that one it will assign null okay so and then there is no other header file we uh, i mean we want to import nothing because there is no database connection here and what is this uh, here i have specified few things few methods that is i'm going to set some size of uh, the form login form and this is very important set location relative to null which means that it is automatically going if you want to display your form in the center of the screen always then you have to say this and uh, I said that resizable I can't maximize this uh, that will be disabled and I have set some title as login so let me run this and I'll just go to my projects and login booking that is without database and I'll run this file which automatically going to appear in the center of the screen so this relative to null so this method yeah you can see this it, it, it is appearing in the center and i need to match with the username and password admin uh, 123 login successful and it is going to display this simple fine uh, let me do it one more time. I just check whether the is working or not. So I'll just run this again and I'll just type some text, text over here. Reset. It is going to clear all these things. Fine. Uh, one more thing is I want to place some GIF file over here, uh, like picture. So let me do that for you. So what I can do is that I'll simply drag and drop a label here first and i'll just increase the size of this so now what i'll do is you can just go to uh, icon here you can see this icon uh, click here so you can browse and you just add 
external image either if you have an image over here uh, in your project folder you can add it yes uh, I don't have anything uh, so I'll just go for external image click on this and click here so that you can browse uh, I'll just go with uh, yes I want to attach and I'll say ok so over here you'll get this so you just remove the name J label 4 so it looks like this and I'll place it here now it looks good fine and whenever you uh, you know run this there is nothing to do you just want to select the location of the image uh, I have placed it within a label and let me run this form again login booking and you can see some uh, GIF over there so it looks something catchy so you can do this and it is going to you know, you know change uh, this is dynamic GIF where it is going to show some uh, you, know, you know where it is going to show a few graphics items of like this and meanwhile you can uh, say you can uh, log in here admin123 the login is successful and you will get this and you can proceed with your you know the, the steps hope you like this video if you like the video hit the like button don't forget to subscribe my channel if you have any queries do let me know in the comment section thank you and thanks for watching the video